Good morning everyone. It is 37 degrees out here. Feels like 31. It's very cold. I know I look terrible and I sound terrible, but it's been so long I wanted to get on and let everybody know what's been happening. For the past week, we have all been suffering with COVID. Some of us worse than others. I got it the worst. And Eddie seems to, I don't know, he seems to be much better than I ever was. He had a headache. He had a headache for a day. Now he's got a sore throat, so he's probably not over it. But uh, with me, it started with severe body pain. I couldn't move for two or three days. And then I thought I was getting over it, but, well, actually, I'm sorry, that's a lie. It started with a severe headache for two days, and it was just a headache. Then it went to severe body pain, which lasted another two or three days. Then I thought I was getting better, but uh, I went to bed, and a couple hours later, I woke up with a really bad sore throat, and... From there, it becomes congestion, chest congestion, can't breathe very well. This guy's hungry. Um, Mikey, so far, has just had a bellyache for a couple of days. No other symptoms. So... I don't know if he's going to get it worse or what's gonna happen. I don't know. <clears throat> but before all this happened, uh, we ha were spending all of our time hunting because it is hunting season. Uh, I don't remember when it started. I think hunting season started in November and it ends February 10th and we were we were a little upset that we were spending so much money on red meat in the store that we decided to spend most of our time hunting because we are hunting the property right behind us. So we didn't have to go anywhere. It wasn't costing us any money. We just had to go out and sit all day. And that was the first reason that we weren't making any videos. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat is very raw. Um, we did so far get four, we harvested four deer. Eddie got two small bucks and I got two does. The limit around here is a doe per day, along with three bucks for the entire season. So we are well within our limits. We still need more. We have figured it out that we need nine deer in order to last us for the year. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, um, we are running out of time to get the nine deer that we need. But we're, we're working on it. We are trying, and now that we're sick, it makes things a little bit more difficult, but we're going to keep trying because for us, it's not just, it's not a sport. It's to fill our freezer with the red meat that we need to get us through the year. As you know, we have plenty of poultry, turkeys, chickens, quail. We have the pigs, but the red meat was always the one thing that we couldn't supply ourselves because last year we couldn't find any deer. So, <coughs> well then after the hunting season, it was, or during the hunting season, it was Christmas, you know, we spent some time with family for that. And my son came from Texas, brought my grandchildren. It was the first time I got to see my grandchildren. He's got twin girls that are almost nine months old and a little boy that is almost two. So I enjoyed spending some time with them. 
Uh, and then, so after that, that's when we all got sick, and that's why we haven't had a video out, and I'm sorry, I know. Uh, we did do a couple of things around here that I'm gonna show you a little bit later. Right now, I've gotta get these chores done. I want, I'm standing right here because I wanna show you. Oh, about a week ago, we had a really strong wind, and it destroyed the peacock pen. So this is the PVC pen that we built and the whole thing uh, collapsed. The shelter that we had up over the back, it blew down and we can't pick it up, it's way too heavy. So thankfully the peacocks did not get out. I just moved them into the pen right next to here. They don't have any shelter though. So as soon as we are up to building something we need to get them some shelter try to rebuild their pen or something all the chickens out here are doing great they're still laying as much as they were even though it's freezing out here my hand is freezing holding this camera now another thing that I'm very disappointed in as you guys saw that we were breeding the rabbits well there seems to be a problem with at least one of these rabbits because they did breed and the one that bred that I had on video she did not give birth so I was hoping it was just her she didn't take something so we rebred or we bred this rabbit she was supposed to give birth on the 16th and she did not. So I'm guessing that our buck Casper is the problem because neither female gave birth when they were supposed to. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's too cold for them, but we had some really nice weather. So I'm guessing that our buck is just not fertile. Okay. So I'm not sure where we're gonna go from here. As far as getting these rabbits breeding, I don't know if we want to just butcher these rabbits and start all over again with some different rabbits. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Or if we just, I, I don't know. I don't know really where to go from here. She's got plenty of food in there. And her cage needs to be cleaned. The bad thing about being sick is things don't get done the way you would normally do them or the way you would like to have them done. So today, I don't know, it's so cold out here, I'm freezing. But within the next couple of days, I need to get, get a lot of stuff cleaned up get those rabbit cages cleaned out get the quail house cleaned out their their trays are really nasty it's only going to warm up to about 45 degrees today so we've got some little chickens around here that aren't so little anymore hey guys These girls really need to be moved. There, there's a whole bunch of them way over there. They really need to be moved into the barnyard and out of the quail house. But, whoa, I don't know that they'll stay. How's the quail bees doing in there? Oh, goodness gracious.
I think we'll probably get these. Hopefully we'll get these quail butchered today, but I don't know. These, all the quail in this house need to be weighed and keep out the largest ones. And then we'll butcher the extra ones. We really, we really, really need to do that no matter how we're feeling because right now we're wasting money. We're feeding them way past time to butcher because of everything that's been going on. So yeah, we're just wasting money now feeding them. So I think today we'll weigh them out and get them butchered. And you mamas are doing all right. Oh. We really need to stock up on their food because we got we got this uh, crumbles and they just make a mess with it and they waste it. When we went to the store, they were all out of the pellets. So we're giving them the crumbles, but they, sh they waste a ton of it. I know it's dark in here. Sorry. It's I really need to get a good light put up in here, but this place is a mess. So I never did finish. Actually, I kind of skipped to the I kind of skipped over the beginning of the COVID issue. Um, it actually came from Ocean. Ocean goes around and works for our neighbors. And, you know, he, he works for everybody around here, gets paid, all that. But he doesn't wear his mask when he's working for the neighbors. You know how it is. You're thinking, well, they're my neighbors. It's safe, you know, whatever. Well, Ocean came home sick and you know, we didn't even think anything of it. Thought maybe he had a cold or something, but we don't really see much of Ocean. He spends a lot of time in his room when he's here. So by the time we realized he was, you know, sick, it was too late. We'd already been exposed. And yeah, so he was the first one to get it and give it to the rest of us. Okay, girls. So check out the pigs. We've had them for over a month now. Might be going on two months. And they are growing like weeds. My hands are freezing and I feel terrible. Sorry. <coughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I don't mean to cough in your faces. I'm doing the best I can here. I really wanted to give you guys an update but I am going to go in and warm up and wait for it to warm up at least a little bit out here it's so cold but I also want to show you what I managed to do to the kitchen during this time that we haven't been on YouTube so I'm gonna warm up and then we'll get back on it okay so we're in the kitchen and as you can see, if you remember from a while ago, the kitchen has changed quite a bit. This project started out with this countertop. We had a plastic table here that I was using for a counter and I got very tired of using it. I wanted a hard surface. It's a little bit taller, a little longer, and I would have room for preparing food and such. So we saw I saw this counter at, oh, I don't know, Home Depot or Lowe's, one of those. And it was only $100 and I was like, all right, go down and buy me that countertop because I can't take it no more. So the boys went down and picked up the countertop for me. And at first I just set it on top of the plastic table that was here. And that worked for a little bit. I moved on to, I wanted to build the cabinets underneath so I built this cabinet 
and it doesn't have doors yet. It does have drawers, four drawers along the top. I did not show building this because as you know, my shop is not done. It's a very uneven dirt floor and it was very difficult to build this without having a flat surface to set it on. So some of the work got done here in the kitchen, which is very crowded, very hard to set up the camera for anything. Plus it was a lot of go outside and make a cut, bring it back in, see if it fits, bring it outside, a lot of back and forth. And it's the first thing I have ever built for anything. I have bought old furniture, sanded it down, put a new finish on it, made it look nice, but I've never actually built anything. So this was the first and it's not perfect, but each cabinet has some shelves in it. I just kind of measured what my biggest thing was. It needed to go in there and decided where to put the shelves. So that's how I did that. The drawers are soft closed drawers. They are a little tight. I didn't get those perfect either. So they, you have to kind of swing them you know, before they close it, they're not super loose to where you could just pull it out and then, you know, see, so you have to kind of put it in most of the way before it will close, but I'm happy with it. It got a lot of my stuff put away. Now I still have to make the doors for this, which I'm not rushing for because this served the purpose of having somewhere to put a lot of my stuff. When I do the doors, I will make a video on that and you guys can see me totally mess up. But I made this out of cedar and plywood. So the drawers, as you can see, are a beautiful cedar color and I did mess up on the drawer faces because as you can see, these sort of go together and then this one and then this one should have been right here because it has these two lines here of the grain, which should have come off of this one. But this drawer is narrower than the rest. Don't ask me how I messed that up because I don't know, but this drawer is narrower. So I can't change that drawer with that drawer. So it is what it is. But anyway, so then I got this done, got my stuff in there, and Eddie insulated the wall. Well, if any of you remember, before this wall was insulated, we had the two by fours. I had all my spices in there and I stored a bunch of stuff just sitting on those two by fours. Well, when he insulated it, it got rid of all that shelving. So then I had all my stuff sitting around and I was like, okay, we've got to get a wall up so that I can start putting shelves up and have a place to put things because I have all my spices in a box. So we got the wall put up and I like it. It is getting some gaps in the wood, which I'm thinking about either caulking or chinking with something. The trim still needs to be done on the windows, but I'm very happy with this wall. My, I do have a plan. I have drawn out some plans that I'm going to use to build a spice rack for right here, which will also hold some of my cookbooks on the top and it should hold all of my spices that will come in time when it's not so cold outside. And then we put up these shelves here. Now this here is, I would say 95% of our store-bought food. As you can see, we don't really have much for store-bought food. We have some baked beans because I haven't had a chance to make any for a while. Uh, tomato paste because I didn't grow enough tomatoes to make my own tomato paste. Mushrooms, some tuna fish because Mikey loves tuna. Uh, these are not store-bought. These are homemade onion, uh, homemade onion pieces and onion powder. We have some rice um, just some minor things, some mac and cheese. Mikey loves mac and cheese. 
but that is 95% of our store-bought food. We do also have some cereal and some crackers. Uh, salt, there's some cereal, sugar and brown sugar. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. This COVID is terrible. Uh, these are the last of our garden-grown tomatoes. We picked those about oh, a week and a half ago and they were still a little bit green so they were sitting there in order to totally ripen up a basket full of eggs uh, that, but that's about it I just remembered what I wanted to tell you I'm sorry I'm really scatterbrained but when we put this wall up the lumber had been sitting outside in the rain and for some reason right now everything outside is molding really badly the ground is green the cars are green <coughs> as i was saying the cars are green the ground is green everything is green outside well we brought these in and i was thinking that it would be warm enough in here it would dry them out and everything would be okay well i put them all up on the walls and guess what they molded so i pulled out the counter i pulled out the stove I sprayed it all down with bleach, thinking bleach would kill the mold. But normally it will. But I came out the next morning, it was all moldy again. So I took each board totally back down. I scrubbed it with pure bleach. Each board totally scrubbed it down with pure bleach. And then I set it in front of the fire to dry. And I put them back up and we haven't had a problem since. Okay, now, the other side of the kitchen. So this side of the kitchen is about the way it was. We did add some wall boards on the bottom. I didn't like the way they came out, so we're not going to do the rest of the walls that way. We'll just do the rest of the walls with one full piece, top to bottom. We did add a TV because we are considering this our living room slash dining room so we put in a new wood stove this is smaller it took us a long time to find a smaller wood stove ours is about twice that size at least ours is huge so we did get this one it takes up a lot less room which was very important for us because we put a couch in here it's actually a love seat and it took us a long time to find one that would fit between the end of the freezer and far enough away from the wood stove that we wouldn't catch it on fire. So it's a love seat, but it works for the two of us. Mikey doesn't sit down and watch TV much. And so we have the TV there and the couch there. That's our living room. And then we have the dining room with the table here, which someday, I do plan on building us a real table for out here instead of this plastic one. But there's so many plans for so many different things that need to be done that, you know, everything just takes time. Tiny's in his favorite spot on the back of the couch where he can feel the heat. Say hi, Tiny. Well, that's about all the changes that we have made so far. Um, like I showed you earlier, we do need to rebuild the peacock pen. We also need to get the quail butchered so that we're not wasting money on their feed. We had plans to build a barn this winter so that it'll be ready for when the turkeys are starting to lay again. I don't know if we're gonna get to that. It's very cold, it's very wet, it's very rainy all the time. But we're gonna get done what we can. Hope you guys stick with us. We're gonna try to get some videos out, made and put out. We haven't actually made any because we've been sick and busy and all that. But we are going to try to get some made. I just want to take a few more days and try to get over this COVID because it is nasty. It's terrible. I don't wish it on anybody. 
but thank you for sticking with us and hopefully we will have a video for you soon. Thanks guys.